exciting day because we're meeting V.E. Schwab. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. We are going for the This Savage song release, but she also wrote A Darker Shade of Magic and, oh my god, a lot of stuff. She wrote a lot of stuff, but my personal favorite is A Darker Shade of Magic. So I'm so, so, so excited to meet her. And, and also Emma Books is going to be there and Bookline, Michael Bookline. Hopefully so we hopefully can we can meet them too and we made bookmarks for everyone and we're very very excited so come along yay okay a very quick outfit of the day this is sarah lynn's outfit from the back <laughs> this is bridget's outfit of the day we get in the middle of a protest and they're hitting our car and they're walking by our car and we were just in that protest for like how long 10 minutes maybe at least yeah we came in very late and it is very very crowded it's so crowded right. but I have the savage song and it's so pretty and my number is 112 because we're really late but pro tip when you're meeting someone or an author try to be one of the last people because I mean it sucks you have to wait but you talk to them longer and they're usually more lenient with yes you can take pictures and stuff and that's probably what's gonna happen now too because we're always late and everyone's watching me bye if you're ever in New York I really recommend books of wonder because so far I have tons of books like a better selection than Barnes & Noble in my opinion which even though I love Barnes & Noble those places play's pretty good this is her, uh, Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, are these signed? <gasps> these are signed! We're buying them. Oh, oh, oh my heart. This is crazy. I'm so excited. I recommend Books of Wonder. They're really nice. I am livid. I just walked past someone that I thought I recognized and I thought that person was Adam Silvera. We looked it up, it was Adam Silvera. I can't believe I recognized him. I love Adam Silvera. I can't believe I recognized him. But when we went up to like say something to him, he got called away and now we can't find him and he's lost. I can't believe I recognized him and I can't believe he ran away. I'll keep he you updated. I got Adam Silvera. I just walked past Adam Silvera. That's so weird. We just met Adam Silvera. So I'm about the baby shower. <laughs> I'm shaking. So what happened was I was in the bathroom and Sarah just ran and she goes, "We found him. We found Adam Silvera." So we ran out and my heart. I was having heart palpitations. We had to look up his face to make sure it was. <laughs> and we knew from the tattoos because he had a tattoo on his wrist and we saw it. But we would. I can't believe I'm seeing Victoria Schwab right now. It's crazy. I just went. I like got all my all my strength and I went up to him. I was like, "Excuse me, are you Adam Silvera?" And he's like, "Oh my God!" He got so excited. He's like, "Yes." I was like, "I love your books." Oh, I can't <laughs> believe it. I got pictures. My hand was shaking. I took her picture and it was like you couldn't tell she was human. I was shaking so bad. And then he was talking to us. Him and his friend were just talking to us. He was so, so sweet. And he gave us this thing for BloggerCon and he was like, well, I have to go to a baby shower first and then I'm going to rush over there. And he was like, this is my last thing for now, but I'm doing this and this. He's I'm going to be here, so here, tall. here. He's like six, so seven, tall. Like, really tall. How did we, like, this random bookstore? We met Adam Silvera, but he lives in the Bronx apparently. And he got very excited when I said I live we live in Jersey. <sighs> She lives in Arizona now. Oh. What if Kay Scudelario comes? <laughs> She's in Europe right now. But still, I just, I'm so happy. I love him. He's so sweet. Anyway, bye. I'm really happy. <laughs> so, this is not good. What's that? Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, isn't that Victoria? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop.
But it's because I only really meet others I truly love. That's a big one. The others I really love and idolize. So every time I do it, I start crying. But I'm crying. She was so sweet. I can't believe I'm at my Victoria shop. And I told her I loved her rainbow bookshelf. And I gave her my bookmark. And I said, Happy birthday. I can't believe it. All right, heartbreaker. Dream maker, we are getting Starbucks. I'm so happy. Here last time we, we went. went yeah. yeah. If you have been following me that long, you probably haven't because I, I I'm really bad <laughs> with making videos. We came here last time, and I'm probably gonna get the exact same thing then. So yeah, I want that too. That was really good. My name is Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Sorry for the dead faces. We just got back. It's like 10.30, almost 11, something like that. I look like a man. But I thought we'd do a little mini book haul because it's so much fun and we got books and it's so fun. If you ever hear like a weird clicking pattern in the back of my videos, it's Finnick walking around at the hardwood floor. V.E. Schwab stuff. We went to the V.E. Schwab signing and got books. Both got This Savage Song, obviously because it was the, uh, This Savage Song release party thing, kind of, because it came out like two days ago. Not signed! Oh, she said my, she wrote my name. Oh, she I wrote love, all of our names. No, she just wrote my name. <laughs> I love it. I love her so much. And I brought my, I'm so happy I brought my copies of A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows, because there was no information on the website. Like, I loved Books of Wonder, but I mean, there's no <laughs> information on the website at all. So I didn't know if you could bring us true books, but I'm so happy I did, because I got these signed. And it's one of my all-time favorite series now. I adore it, so I'm so happy. And I bought this one, obviously, The Darker Shade of Magic. This one's in paperback, though, and it's actually, like, it's a little dirty. Oh, I wish I noticed it. Yeah. It's like, oh, is it floppy? Dirty. Floppy test? Yes. Yes. Floppy. She hasn't read it yet, so I'm so excited for her to read it, too. It's signed. I have a problem with book buying, as you can tell, so I bought two more books. Well, we met Adam Silvera, yeah. and he gave us this for Blogger. Con, right? I think it's Blogger yeah, Con. I never heard of it too until he Yeah, but it sounds it. really interesting. I kind of really want to go. So at Books of Wonder, they had so many, so many signed books. It was so cool, and it would say under it, signed by so-and-so, which was really, really neat. Yes, which I really like. Barnes like & Noble that. has, like, if they have a signed copy, you have, like, it's, they don't. Yeah, it's like, really hard. It's, so I got The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and it's signed. And I love, love, love Morgan Matson, and I've wanted to get this. And look at and I got it signed, so I'm very happy and I'm so excited to read this. And if you haven't been to Books of Wonder, because this was our first time, their YA section, though, mm -hmm. was is so much better. Amazing! Than oh so my god! Better. Like, hardback and paperback. Mm -hmm. And then signed. Book. Yeah. I and loved it. When I go to Barnes & Noble, they either have, like, only paperback or only hardback. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish we lived closer, because even though we get to go to New York for all these cool things, because we're in Jersey, it's not close enough to just commute to Books of Wonder, yeah. but oh, I loved it. And then I also got something that Sarah was a little jealous of. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutoski. I'm so, so, so excited to read this. Sarah is so, so, so excited to read this. I'm just jealous. It's signed. It's and signed. I'm jealous because it's signed. <laughs> and it's I didn't, signed. I didn't bring enough money. I didn't think that they were going to have yeah, signed I didn't things know. there. Otherwise, I would have brought my money. I... Love it. I'm so, I wanted to start this for so long and I'm very, very, very excited. And we only found the YA section by accident because it's a really small, mm -hmm. it's not super small. It's a know. little small independent shop and there are and tons of people there. If you can't, oh right when you walk in, it's on the left in the back. Yes. Just, just. Ah, uh, so many <laughs> books. It was so nice. And they had a lot of free oh, stuff <laughs> and Sarah like just picked up everything. Because. I kept, I kept getting pushed away by other people. I don't have like bookmarks i just don't see the point in buying mm -hmm. i mean i've bought a few that are really nice yeah. but like i usually just pick up whatever's there because i mm -hmm. tend to lose bookmarks a lot <laughs> me i keep so, buying them but i always lose them so i just get free bookmarks so we both got this one and it says the gallery and it's actually a book the gallery by it's an art mystery laura marks fit marks fitzgerald. fitzgerald was she related to um <laughs> probably not know. but it's so pretty i think this is one of my new favorites because I usually don't like the book ones because it's kind of weird, but this is gorgeous. gorgeous. It's gorgeous artwork. It's Shout so out pretty. To whoever did that. 
Then we got gorgeous. Ivory and Bone by Julie S. Trouble. I'm sorry. But I still thought this was this really pretty. This is the prehistoric one. Oh, it we is? We just watched Michael we, Book Line yeah. video. This sounded really interesting. It's a prehistoric YA novel, and it, mm -hmm. like I've never heard of a prehistoric yeah. YA. So I'm super excited to pick that up when it comes out. I don't know if it's out yet or not. And then the Books of Wonder one. We both have this from meeting Sarah J. Mass at 92Y in last September. Because I guess it was hosted by Books of Wonder yeah. or something. And this is one of my favorite favorite bookmarks. Yeah. I use it constantly. I use it all the time. It's like all bent and practically ripped to shreds because it's just paper and I use it almost every I time. I the whole thing <laughs> yeah. just in case. But it's my absolute favorite because it has all these like beautiful famous characters, characters and oh I love it. I love Books of Wonder. I got a lot. <laughs> I got this one says when friendship followed me home. It's just a little mini one. And it's just cute. It's blue. I just I use bookmarks like non-stop. Non-stop. And this one is Labyrinth lost it has a really pretty oh, yeah, lolita pretty. face on it so i was like i like lolita i love that these have like books of wonder has such nice bookmarks for Ooh. free Ma finnick please stop and then we me. both got this ah! <laughs> carve the mark by veronica roth yeah. just the first look i was like are these free yeah. like i didn't know they're free or not i i can't like is this everywhere Wait, now why would it give us chapter seven did it seriously give us chapter seven <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> I don't want to read. Like I don't want to read chapter seven. This Divergent. is a gorgeous cover, though. It's gorgeous, and I loved a Divergent before Allegiant came yeah. out. So. Oh, and then I got this "Be Yourself Even When You Turn Into a Dritten" thing for my sister because she's twelve, so she's in that little randomness phase, and it's a kitten with, like I don't know, unicorn wings from Upside Down Magic by Sarah Malinowski, Lauren Miracle, and Emily Jenkins. So I thought she'd enjoy that. And then last two little thingies. I This is The Darkest Corners. I don't have this book. I haven't read it yet, but it I really want to. It sounds really cool. The cover's really nice. And then also The Full Spectrum by David Levithan. Yeah. Theme, or edited by David Levithan and Billy Merrill. And it's, Merrill, yeah. It's um, a new generation of writing about gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, questioning and other identities so that's what it sounded really cool so in conclusion we made bookmarks for michael bookline emma books and ve schwab emma books and michael bookline weren't there because we got there late which is very understandable they left apparently right when we got but then we randomly found adam silvera hunted him down <laughs> and met him so i was so randomly i was just walking by and i kind of walked by and i went wait wait and then i ran up to say i was like that's Adam Silvera. She was like, who? <laughs> I was like, Adam Silvera, the book I just showed you earlier from More Happy Than Up. That's him. That's Adam Silvera. And she was like, wait, what? I have no idea, absolutely no clue how I recognized him. I actually, I saw him in one vlog from BookCon. And so we looked him up on Google <laughs> Images. And he has lots of tattoos, so he has wrist tattoos. And we were like, wait for him to hold up his wrists. So he was talking to someone, and he did, and it was the exact same. We were freaked out. Walked the away. second we figured out, he walked away, and, and we, we couldn't, couldn't find, find him. him. So we went to the bathroom. I think I hear his voice at the check register, so I checked, and then I sprinted to the bathroom. I genuinely so proud of myself for going up and talking to him, because that's so unlike me completely i never do that and we had the nicest conversation and he's yeah, he so, so sweet nice. he was so tall. excited he was tall. really tall but he was, was like, so excited that we yeah. recognized him and he's like thank you for recognizing so me and then of course he met victoria schwab and it was amazing and i She's so uh, funny. We came out of it crying. You saw the cliff. She came out of it crying. Oh, yeah. I, I came out of crying when we met Sarah Jane. This is Finnick. He wants to be in Finnick the video. Finnick, dare. Thank you for watching. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.